What is going on everybody? I'm actually here just editing up some stuff, got off work, and figured that I would kind of fill you in on what's been going on behind the scenes with this whole Norman first episode of the Bass Boot Camp series. Um, to make a long story short, basically I had two hard drives going, my primary and my backup, and they both failed while I was editing my car. And it was kind of like my worst nightmare, and I've been trying to get it fixed for the last, what, four or five weeks now? And since it's three different places, and the minimum quote I'm getting to fix both of them is about $1,500. And they're telling me that I can't even be guaranteed like a full recovery, so that's why I'm paying to do both, because they both have the same stuff on them. And I'm hoping that if I pay to get both of them, I might be able to get most of it, if not all of it, back and kind of throw together that whole edit that you guys have all been waiting for and what AFCO has really been anticipating and what I've been letting everybody down about. So I've been kind of down and out and in the gutters and really just not in the best spirits lately. So we're going to head to Nossi later this week. We're going to go meet up with my buddy Austin. He's going to show us around the lake. Supposedly it's been going off, so it'll be a good little booster, kind of get me out of this rut I'm in. And I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with these hard drives. It's just been kind of a whirlwind. You know, I just kind of want to get it over with. And I've got a lot of trips coming up. We're going to Nasi, and then I'm going to be going to St. Clair for the FW Tour event. And I'm going to be going to Lake Powell for a week. And that that edit, that Lake Powell edit, is going to be really cool. I've been thinking about that trip for months and months and months. And but yeah, anyways, this is going to be the Nasi edit. So this is the opening. Hope you guys have a little bit more info on what's going on with this whole backup drive. Realize I haven't told any of you guys. Slash, you guys haven't had an update since my travel vlog. So. Hopefully this is a cool little edit and hopefully we catch a bunch of fish. So this year has been a hectic one. Um, I don't know if I've ever really touched on it, but I am fishing the FLW tours of Cullingler and filming some freelance stuff for them and you know trying to learn how to fish those lakes back east. So I'm traveling a lot, I'm flying a lot and trying to film as much as possible. And then obviously I'm fishing the opens, which is a lot of driving, a lot of time off and doing this whole vlog series. And, you know, my part-time job, or my full-time job, if I would just not fish as much, <laughs> is uh, doing marble work. So I do a lot of, like, physical labor, and it takes a lot out of me, you know. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of long days. I work a lot of 12-hour days to make up some money and make up some time that fishing takes over for. So, you know, whenever I get to go out and do these fun trips and go fishing with my buddies, they're, they're just always special to me. And I really like the filming stuff, and... I'm hoping you guys are liking these vlogs and the kind of the way that we're going about it. We want you guys to learn some stuff. We kind of just want to show you guys how a day in the lives of these these goobers that we are are. And, you know, I'm trying to get a little bit better at the vlogging. It's hard for me to kind of document stuff as we go. I'm kind of just a winger. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this edit. It's going to be pretty cool. You know, this lake's going off right now. It's usually a lake that yields pretty low weights. So it's kind of awesome to come out to Nasi and catch, you know, in the double digits for your best five usually tournaments are one out here on like seven to nine pounds so you know austin's gonna show us how to catch him he's a great fisherman out here he's fished here his whole life so hopefully you guys enjoy this edit and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day That's not, that's not worthy. This is not worthy. Trailer. Look at, see, he gets a little free snack too. We don't want to eat that. <laughs> well, this lake right now, especially this lake, Nascimento. They pull a lot of water out, especially during the summer months. We're kind of transitioning to that summertime period. And what it's doing is, is it's concentrating these fish at the mouths of these creeks. They were shallow, they were spawning. Now they're hitting that post-spawn mode and there's so much water leaving these creeks that they're kind of staging in those areas that are the last deep water leading into the main body. And if you go to the main body, there's a lot of fish suspending. So what we're doing is we're going to the backs of these creeks. And see, this is the mouth of Tobless Creek doing is we're fishing the rock that's right near the, the closest deepest water to those spawning areas and these fish are kind of positioning themselves pretty shallow right now you would think that they'd be a lot deeper this time of year um, but there's so much bait in the water this year that and these fish are just kind of hanging out shallow and they're kind of gorging on a bunch of stuff right now they're gorging on big old shad crawdads like right now we're we're targeting with jigs 
one's not bad. Nothing special. This is kind of like, oh wow. This is kind of like the normal Nasi Meno sized spot. And so this lake's like one of the healthiest it's ever been. And we're really excited that we got to fish it this year because especially in California lakes, these lakes go through cycles where last year we had a bunch of rain. So there was a lot of flooded brush that when the water came up, there was a lot of structure. So the bait had a good spawn. The bass got to eat a lot of food and the lake's still pretty healthy right now, even though they're drawing a ton of water out of it. So Nasi is fun to fish right now. And I've honestly never seen it this healthy. Austin said, what, 2012? Yeah, 2012, it was it was good, and then it went through a cycle of the drought period, and then it, exactly everything you said, just right on the money. It's kind of funny because it's like, burning bank, kind of mindless, but it's like, as long as you're in those areas that are the last deep water into these spawning creeks, they're just loaded up. Like, we've had to turn the grass off because we had some battery issues today, but if you were to like turn the graph on right now, it'd be like spaghetti on your graph. There's so many fish in this lake, and there's a lot of good healthy ones, and nothing like a good old jig bite, because when they thump this thing, they thump it. We're on the back of the river at Lake Nasimino, and this is the last deep water before it gets, you know, real shallow. By deep water, I'm talking about like 20, 25 foot. And once you get beyond these walls right in front of us, once we get around the corner, it's all flat, everything's flat. And 
when you come out here fun fishing with one of your buddies, you know, it's it's always a blast. You get to go check new things out, stuff you haven't been into in a while. You're not in a tournament mode. You're not pre-fishing for anything. But even in a sense, I mean, even tournament fishing, this is, when I'm on my home lakes like this, I fish my best because I'm just going. I'm not really, I have a lot of history on certain little deals, but you just read the conditions and go with it. So we're gonna see if we can't find a big school of spotted bass up here somewhere. Oh yeah. Feels big. They're very deceiving though. Could be a double, or it could be one slob, or it could be catfish. Could be a three pound white bass. Oh yeah, two. Oh, one came off, I know I still got him. Oh, we were flying a drone. And the satellite positioning decided to have a major issue and pretty much just fly wherever it wanted. So, drone is done, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, check old Billy out. Yeah, dude, you're kind of done, though, I think, dude. Honestly. Screen is cracked. Lost propeller. This is gonna be a hefty little fixer upper. This isn't really what I needed to happen, especially after what's happening with my hard drive. So there goes another grain. So we break our drone, we get bit in a tree, miss it, come back with a chatterbait as he's tracking down his drone, catch that. And then now we gotta jump our battery. Try to steal my cricket. That did not grow at all. Try to steal my cricket. Oh, oh yeah, I got a double. That's why it felt big. Two fish, one cast. Gotta love it. So that was probably the most epic day out on an Aussie I've ever had. And I've had a couple good days with Austin, but this one seems to top it. I think our best five probably went somewhere around 15 pounds. These fish are nice and fat right now. Look at that Larry right there. Austin caught a little stud largemouth for that lake. Um, but guys, so the next vlog that I'm going to be doing, I'm actually flying out to St. Clair tomorrow. I'm flying to Detroit, and I'm going to be fishing the FLW Tour event as a co-angler and filming as a freelance videographer on the Saturday for the Top 30 guys. So that'll be a cool little inside look on what I've been doing this whole year, working for FLW and fishing as a co. So that'll be a cool little vlog style edit so you guys get to see what's kind of going on. And Guys, don't forget to subscribe to AFCO's YouTube channel. It means the world to me. You know, they've given me a great opportunity, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm doing these videos well, and you guys really like them. I really enjoy making them, so don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah, the next edit is going to be a little bit more vlog style, and hopefully I have some big old smallies on it. And I'll keep you guys updated on the hard drive situation. I'm getting both of them repaired. I was kind of told that it's not going to be a full recovery, but I'm putting the extra money forward so that if I do both of them at the same time, hopefully I can get enough content to like scrape together a good old norman edit and hopefully i still have it all but i'll keep you guys updated on that too thanks guys